Well, finally, we have got <laughs> this together, honey, because this has been something quite special. Just the uh, organizing alone has You have no idea. You have oh, I no think I do. I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do. But I'm glad to finally have one of the first ladies of Philadelphia here in my living room. Oh. I'm loving all that Chinese thing behind you there. What's going I on? Here? No, that was the second thing that drove me crazy. Where in the hell in the house am I going to put this? I'm thinking, okay, this is good. Honey, I'm <laughs> sure you live in a palace. It'd be fine. No, I do. Anyway. No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. I expected to see you reclining on a chaise lounge covered in leopard skin. Well, that's the idea. This is our first time. Okay. We I didn't want to take. It, I didn't want to take it too far. <laughs> well, actually, this is our second time. If you remember. Yes, it is. Yes. Or am I yes. that forgettable? <laughs> yeah. No. No, I, I mean, this is our first time seeing. Visually, that's right. There you go. So there how are you doing, sweetheart? Not bad, not bad. I'm going a little scare crazy because I, it's been some time since we've been off for this long. Yeah. Uh, I, I I really have got to in, well, you know how you buy houses, but you never actually get to live in them? <laughs> well, yeah. that, that for us, because we're always moving. You're always okay. on tour. So therefore you come home, you clean the house and you leave and yeah. you come back and you stay for a couple of days and you clean the house and you leave. I've been able to clean the house and stay in it for a minute now. <laughs> okay. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Throw out but a lot of stuff. For more than a minute, which is actually yes. getting on your nerves. You're not used to being still for so long. No. And, and my body is telling me. So it, it makes sure that I have to get out there at least twice a day and run up and down the sidewalk, you know, it, for yeah. a good 20 minutes at least. And keep that figure going, girl, for when you get oh, you have, stage, uh, uh, in oh, those gowns. You have no idea. Those gowns, are, are I have them hanging so I can see them as a reminder. I have to fit into that. That's the problem with lockdown, isn't it? The fridge is yes. everybody's best friend. Yes. You know? And what else are you going to do? You watch TV and, yeah. you, and you eat. <laughs> uh, you know, there's but so much house cleaning you can do. Yeah, but you know, the eating on the couch, watching TV, is so comforting. It's, it's wonderful. Great. It's wonderful. And that's the yeah. trap that we've all fallen into. That's yes. what we really want to do. Yes. But we, you know, we get caught up with work and running up and down. But we really want to just stay at home and eat. Stay at home and veg. Yeah. 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 So we have to think of some healthier snacks. I, well, we have. TV. We have, we, we've limited ourselves as far as the chocolate is concerned. Yeah. And I, I, I see you have something there. Is that, is that pineapple juice or grapefruit juice? Um, it is ginger and lemon tea that I made. Ooh, now see, yeah. that sounds nice. I like that. Yeah. I like that. But I didn't mention the brandy in the bottom. No, uh, we'll, uh, we'll edit that. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll edit that. <laughs> Because, see, I'm not going to show you my big glass of red wine. I'm not going to do that. Okay. You can show it to me. Isn't it 11 uh, o'clock in the morning there or something? No. I'm just okay. kidding. No, about, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's, that's okay. my free. Yeah, that's anytime my... after 12 is good to start. That's fine. Oh, it must be sometime to have a drink somewhere. Anytime <laughs> after 12 is fine. So, let me hear the Valerie holiday story because, you know, you really are a legend. And as Oh, I my said, God. One well, of the first ladies of my all-time favorite record label, oh my Philadelphia goodness. International Records. Oh wow! I I I threw these lashes on so fast. I'm hoping they stay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> that was all I could think about. Oh gosh, because it's been a year since you had to put them on, so you had to make sure they were, you know. And I, for some strange reason, have this big star on my calendar for you for tomorrow. Yes, I know. It was a very so, special time arranging this meeting. So you know what? I'm just glad that we made it. <laughs> I know. Me too. So Me too. So that we made it. Me too. Because for a moment there, I thought, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to flat, I'm gonna have to put a picture in front and he can look at that. And, I, oh. <laughs> and you're just talking at the back. There you go. There you go. So the last time we spoke, you were here doing 
gigs and you were yeah. at the Boysdale and we did a nice quick interview over the phone. But it's yeah. lovely to be able to see you in person and let it's the easy. viewers see you ah, as well. Thank you. you know? so, as I've been saying with these interviews, I think with COVID, out of evil cometh good because these would usually be phone conversations, but Ooh. now they're actually visual and yeah. audio. So we can yeah. see your beautiful Chinese decoration in the background. Um, My Japanese, darling, Japanese. It's Japanese. I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, tell me about Valerie Holiday. Where did it start for you? Oh, my gosh. Where did you grow up? It, I, I was born in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, okay. My mom moved uh, probably when we were about, when I was about maybe four or five. Um, and we came south to uh, stay with my grandmother right. in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, it's uh, where we live was a little further down than Atlanta. It was right. it was okay. what they called the boondocks out in the out in the, you know <laughs> residential, really, really out there. Right. Um, so, and and being the only one, I of course had to amuse myself most of the time. So you're an only child, no siblings. My mother had my sister when I was 16. How do you like that? Okay, good, good. I, I wasn't too happy at first because everybody in, in that time, they thought she was mine. And <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't really, I didn't appreciate that. I really did appreciate that. But uh, yes, my sister and, and I, I was down with my grandmother alone, but we moved back up to uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Um, okay. And... Um, that's where I, I, I started. I do, well, of course, we joined a church. My initial upbringing in, in uh, music came from my grandmother because in the South, um, those, those morning services on Sunday and everybody's dressed in their finery with the hats and the whole nine yards, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. fashionistas to death. Uh, they, the only accompaniment you had to the voices was a tambourine. So it was okay. very inspirational to hear all those beautiful tones, you know, I, and I remembered all this when, when I, I started singing, uh, professionally, we right. went to Boston, joined a church that had different choirs. And so I initially was in the little people's choir. And then I, of yeah. course, graduated as you get up in age, you graduate to the different courses. And when I reached the one uh, when I was like maybe 17 or 18, we were into very intricate harmony patterns and, and, and things. You know how when right. you go to those, those gospel churches and, and the choir gets up and they just totally blow you away. So this is where I, I really got my vocal training. training. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm finding with all, and I can literally say with all of the interviews I've done with all of yeah. the artists, the one common denominator is the church. Church, yes, yes. It is the church. The music For those is that didn't necessarily what you would call have formal music training, vocal right. training, right? It started in the church. There, yeah. and that, that seems to be so far the best training. Because you have every. Artist. You know, and, and for harmonies, it's it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I uh, met um, uh, a friend of mine in, in Massachusetts uh, named Bernie Worrell. He's passed now, but he was part of um, Bootsy Collins and was the Funkadelics. Right. Bootsy, of course. Bootsy. Bass player. He was Bootsy, keyboard. Bootsy, yes. Yes. Bootsy and Bernie was Bernie was was with uh, him up until the end. He introduced me to other people in the business. We we started uh, as a trio, um, and of course working the little local places around town. And a friend of his came to see our show, who was a dancer, and right. knew knew Richard Barrett and and the ladies. And he said to me, you know, we. I have an idea. I don't know if this is something you want to do, but you know, I think it, I think you'll enjoy it because I really didn't like being out there by myself. You know, after mm -hmm. this, this day, after you finish just the set, you go back and sit someplace all by yourself, and I didn't particularly like that. So when he said, "I have a group that that needs um, a replacement," 
So I thought, yeah. okay, let, let's just go check it out. And we did. I met the ladies and um, saw the show and I thought, okay, wow, yeah. And when I went backstage, first thing uh, they said, okay, we there's a step, a dance move that that is basically throughout the different songs that, that we choreographed and it was called the Philly Dog. <laughs> and they asked me, can you, and then they showed it to me and she said, she was there, oh, can you do this? And she and Faye started doing it, doing the dance. And I chimed in with them and they said, yeah, you're hired. <laughs> what you mean, really and truly, you joining the three degrees was as simple as that? Simple as that. And because were, so they the, here. were they called the three degrees at the time or did the name change? No, they were called the three degrees at the time. They had a young lady from um, who was no longer with the Chantels, but was a, a very good friend, Sonia Goring. She was there. So there was. there's always been three of them. Yes, because I, I was I've done my little bit of research and uh -huh. it said that over the period they've been, I think, 15 members. I just, know. I they, know. They've always just been on rotation. You <laughs> have to remember that initially we were all graduating just out of high school. Yeah. And at 18, you really don't know what the heck you want to do. Yeah. So there were ladies at the very beginning, the three that started out, the two rather, that started out with Fayette. I think they were there for about a week and then somebody else came as long in as that. they were there for a, lot, a couple of weeks and somebody else came in and they were there for maybe a month. Janet uh, Harmon was, was in the group as well. So it's like you really can count on one hand the number of people that actually contribute and, and you know, yeah. put it forward. And Helen Scott was one of the originals, right? Helen was there and she, I think she left in 63, I want to say, 63, uh-oh, ignore that. I didn't take the phone off the hook. <laughs> you see, you're so in demand. You're so in demand. <laughs> Can you just let them know you are mine for an hour, okay? It'll, it'll stop in a moment. And, and I took the one that, that I have in there and put mine away, but then this one, I forgot the one that, that's in the kitchen. And I'm, unfortunately, I'm sitting near it. There you go. So you can count on your hand how many ladies yeah. who actually have been true, you know, what we would call true degrees. Yeah. So Helen Scott was one of the originals. She left for yeah. quite a while. She um, did. She was gone for eleven years, and she did a lot of she did a lot of stuff in those eleven years, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, as we all would in eleven years. You know what I mean? <laughs> she had a chance to have a family, which you know she had to already. So you know, to to actually have a life, because you know this business does not allow that. Yeah, you don't have exactly. You are to married to the business when you get to that level that you guys were. I mean, come you on. Know. You were so at the top of the game, you know what I mean? It's yeah. <laughs> at the top. But of it, the game. it was fun. It was fun. We we enjoyed it. And when I joined in uh, 67, um, it was, you know, rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing. We rehearsed all the time uh, because we wanted it to be tight. We enjoyed harmonizing together. So sometimes we'd, we'd sit in the room and just do arias you know and and just do interchanging just my favorite song in those voices those yes. vocal chords and yes and working and, out and, how you all sound figuring out what works best yeah. how to use what voice where in macarthur park in particular we we had really a lot of fun doing that one because we interchange faye and i interchange our places well sheila too in 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 the harmony yeah so, you know, it was it was fun. And the routines, we wanted it to look, you know, when Richard was demanding, when one hand went, they all had to be the same. The same direction, yeah. yeah. And I yeah. think that was a prerequisite of the era. Though, I mean, now the, the yes. younger generation, they do, they don't. They do choreograph stuff. No, I mean, not so really. It's different, but... I think that was definitely a prerequisite of the time because when it you was. look at all of the record labels, all of the groups, Everybody the world, has it was synchronicity. It was yeah. synchronicity from the moves to the outfits, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, pretty special. But also what I love is, 
when people see legends like you guys at the top of the game, they only see the top of the iceberg. They only see the success. They don't I, yeah. necessarily appreciate the, the work the and the work mm -hmm. that went in beforehand. And more mm -hmm. often than not, again, like with the church being that common denominator, yeah. Like all of the artists I've spoken to, they've said, you know, we were going 10, 15, 20 years before you all heard about us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Before we made that big hit that made us yeah. famous. And, and yeah, everything. before so, you heard, when will yeah, I see you again? Yeah, you know, yeah. there's like 10 or 15 prior years of gigs, blood, sweat and tears. That they don't realize. Don't no, I realize or appreciate. You yeah, know? And, and they don't realize that we... Sometimes uh, people will say that, okay, you, you, you're never in the United States, but what they don't realize is we, in the 60s and set in late 60s and all during the beginning of the 70s, we had performed in just about every major nightclub that there, or, or, you know, that there was in the United States. Uh, you know, so we, we did do our just dues to the yeah. U.S., but when we finally realized that, okay, Richard said, okay, well then th let's do something different. Let's do something else. And we yeah. took the album and we went to England. Right. And unfor well, unfortunately, fortunately, however you want to look at it, for us, we think fortunately, the album took off. So, yeah. and you know how the promoters are. You know when, before you finish one tour, they've already booked another tour. And it just kept mushrooming like that. We yes. go from, no from, maybe from just yeah, and rolling. go from a tour in England to a tour in Japan, and then you go over to Indonesia, and before you know it, that whole year is gone. is gone. <laughs> yeah. So were you all signed to anybody else before Philadelphia, or was that your first label? We were with uh, Warner Brothers. We were with Metro Media. Uh, we were with Roulette Records. Uh, gosh. And all of this was before Philly? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Our first release was on a label called Neptune, which was Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff, uh, and a song called, tune called What I See. Right. That was our first release. Right. So that was on Neptune, but it yeah. being Gamble and Huff, was that obviously Philadelphia Records affiliated? They had not gone over into Philadelphia International as of yet. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that was a pretty special stable of people. Mm. You know, mm. kind of like Motown. Yeah. The stable. The people that are under that umbrella is just phenomenal. Yes. I mean, yeah. you guys and Patti LaBelle and, you know, Gene Carr, Jean Car all of girls. Just, Teddy Pendergrass, yeah. Billy Paul, Blue Rolls. It was just endless, endless. Yes. Phyllis Hyman, <laughs> you know? One of my favorites. Yeah, just yeah. an amazing, amazing time. So mm. what was your first hit that went really big for you guys that put the three degrees on the map big time? Stateside, it was a song called Maybe. Okay. It had uh, been originally recorded uh, by the Chantels. Right. Uh, Rick Barrett was was the was the author, but and so he said, "Okay, you know, I I want you girls to do a rendition of this, but I want you to do something different to it." So we put our heads together and and, and thought, "Okay, what can we what?" So we said, "Okay, let's put a monologue on the front of it." Yeah. We we started we started doing songs with monologues before they started before they were the thing. <laughs> <laughs> We were always being told that we were before our time. Yeah. Because you come out with things that nobody had done yet. So therefore they weren't quite sure, you know. So, yeah. but that one was was it went R and B, top of the charts, all the way across the United States. Right. Uh, and that was our first uh, number one. Okay. And that was on Philadelphia or that was, was that before? Oh, that was that was on Roulette Records. Roulette. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. After that, we went to uh, Warner Brothers. Uh, we had a, a little light hit on that. Um, I do take you. Um, oh gosh, 
trying to try to pull out some of the other ones. <laughs> yeah, but you know, again, it is that journey that was there before we even knew about the three degrees. Because I yeah. think you guys kind of hit the UK big time in around 1972. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it was Dirty Old Man. Dirty Old Man was first, yeah. Yeah. Big tune, big tune, <laughs> big tune. But you know, well, I think that was when you all really hit the UK big time. When then it was just hit after hit. When will I see you again? I like being a woman, and you know all of those. Dirty old man. Yeah. Yes. 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 Year of decision. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I can't tell you your story. You're here to tell me your story. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you your story. <laughs> it, 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 when somebody asks you, okay, when, 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 when you're interviewing, they ask you different questions about back then. It's like, I really have to try and pull it forward because you were, you were so busy living it. You really weren't, we weren't taking notes. Yeah. So you, you weren't really conscious of the time only the place and what was going on and, yeah. and the speed with, with which everything was moving. It, it was like, you really didn't have time to sit and, and oh, that's because it was going by so fast. Yeah, but you all did so much. And as you say, by a certain age, you'd already traveled the world and seen yeah. and done and been, you know? Yeah. So, and it's great that guys like you are still creating. You're still making music. And we love what we do. A new single, don't we? Let me hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I I started out as a as a single artist. Right. Um, and when I joined the group, I promised myself at some point in time I was going to go into the studio and record that solo album that I had intentions of doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had a whole year. Now, mind you, I've been doing this for the past, ooh, working on it periodically for the past five years. Yes. Because I wanted, it, I wanted it to be mine. When, when you're in the studio with the producer and the record company and everybody's giving you the input of what they want the material to be and sound and you aren't, you're following instructions. Yeah. With this, I, I was reveling in the fact that I could do whatever the heck I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm being I, left I alone. It, I've, this time is mine to do it the way I want it done. My way. Yeah. And, yeah. and I, really, I really enjoyed it. Which, and I didn't feel the necessity to, to speed through it because it wasn't necessary. So yeah. therefore, I, I just did it whenever we would come home. I'd go in the studio and do, you know, a little bit and go away and listen to that and see if I was happy with that. And yeah. if so, then we'd move to the next song. And I finally got it done. And so I thought, all right, let's 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 get this out here now. This, this we, you were not doing anything, so let's release this. Well, I mean, that's, a, a, you know, so many common denominators with artists. It's, it's just unbelievable. But, you know, that time that you've had at home rather than being bored and in between eating, of course, you know, yeah. a lot of you have been creating music yeah. and, and writing or recording or whatever. Yes. And, yes. you know, I say that us, the listeners and the viewers, we're very grateful for that because you guys have got us through a lot of the lockdown. <laughs> Believe me. That's nice we to put hear. your records on. Yes. We pour a little brandy. We have a dance like everything's OK. And then, you know, we go to bed. And that's it. We and have that's a good it. night. But you know, a, a lot of us have got through it because of the music. And yeah. Yes. Yes. Because I, I have the artists that I love to listen to. And you're, you're yeah. absolutely right. That is that is what, what gets you through through the day, you know. So what and is the really nice. album called? What's the net title? The album it? is called In Bloom. In Bloom. Okay. Yes, How it, many tracks? Uh, at the moment, I I I wasn't. Like, you know, I was really, I, I couldn't figure out how many to put on there. So I thought, okay, let's start little. Okay. And there are seven. I, I put seven on there. Seven, right. And I, I pulled together the standards that, that I absolutely love. And I thought, okay, I, I'm just going to 
as as but one of my. You did send me a sample of. I did. All what of are you my doing? Life? What are you doing the rest of your the life? The rest of your life. That. Yeah. It. Yes. We and did that. a. Re I did that on on a um, television show. We we had a live um, concert on the B okay. on BBC, and right. uh, they recorded the show. And in one of the shows, that was that was my solo. Really? So I thought, okay, I want to do it again, but I want to give it a little different flavor, flavor. you know. So I, I took the opportunity to do that, as as one of my my friends say, my Valerieism. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you there's always that possibility to be a solo artist, and even though you categorically state you are not leaving the three degrees, no, this is just are, what always wanted to do. Yeah, and this was the perfect time to do it because then it didn't interfere, you know, yeah. with, with anything else. And as I say, you know, obviously that's why it took that long to to do because you were doing it in between touring with the girls. Yeah. So, you know, you were fitting it in, but yes. it's good that you finished it. So, you see, lockdown has brought many good things. It has. <laughs> it brought has. many good things. Now, we have to talk about one of my favorite scenes of the, the Three Degrees. And we've spoken about it before. Uh-oh. French connection in that club. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> You know how we got that. You know how you we need got to that. tell me again. You need to tell we, me again. We were we were performing. I said we we've done all the clubs in the United States. The Copacabana was right. the you know the place to perform in New York. Um, and we were performing there. And William Freakin, the the uh, what the director came uh -huh. and just to, to scope out the club to see you know for shooting for the scenes to see how they were gonna do what. And when he heard that song in the show, he decided that he wanted to put it in the movie. Everybody's going to the moon. Yeah. I mean. We were blown away. We were totally blown away. So he just said, you know, yeah, we want that in the scene. So yes, was I'd like the three of you ladies to, to perform that song in the movie and and you know how they do in the movie they do intakes and outtakes yeah. and you the music in the back and the, our actors are, are doing what they do it took us three days to shoot that scene <laughs> yes yeah but you know it's it's it fabulous was fun. and it's it was fabulous fun. it was fun by the time we finished everybody of course that was in the movie scenes we were all laughing at the uh, fact that they were eating those same peas for three days. It's like, okay. Because <laughs> yeah, you have to I mean, have continuity. You know you have to have continuity. That's right. But I mean, the way it's shot is phenomenal. Side, above, front, you know, and it's you girls again in the gowns, working <laughs> those gowns. And yeah, just perfection. So guys, if you haven't seen French Connection, gotta check, check it, it out. out or just Google the three degrees in French Connection and see there the scene. You go. There you go. It is the best. Okay. So, I mean, the thing is, with the three degrees, it's one of those groups that has, has never finished. It's just done that whole evolution of different members coming in and going and different members coming in and going and just keeping going to here we are now in 2021 and, and still going. I have to say that that the uh, longest lineup of the three degrees was Helen, Cynthia, and myself. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That was a twenty-year. So that was from which years? From after 80, Sheila left, and yeah, about eighty-nine, because it took us a minute to find her. Okay, Cynthia. Yeah. Yes. Because you and Helen are your old friends. You. You're... <laughs> I'm way like, back. Come here, girl. We need to keep things going. Just come <laughs> but we need to find another one, yeah? <laughs> yes. And then Cynthia, unfortunately, developed from, from she was younger. She had she was involved in a car accident. And you know how as you get older, those things have a tendency to come back and revisit you. Yeah. So she was unable to, to continue. So that meant, okay, now we've got to go out there and beat the hedges and try to find, it's like, oh, not again. We don't want to do this again. But fortunately, 
um, Freddie, we were already friends with because she was with the former ladies of the Supremes and we had done several tours in England together. Right. So she had just left uh, the former ladies. So we said to her, okay, um, would, would, would you be interested? <laughs> Absolutely. <And> she said, <laughs> he said yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And so he said yes. Yeah. Because I mean, it must be really difficult to when you have an existing group yeah, and so just, a member yeah. goes to find somebody, it's not just about if they can sing or if they can no. dance. It's the whole package of oh, energy. It's the energy yeah. as well. Yeah. Do, we, do we gel as people? They, there you, you go. Know, so it must the personalities. Be, yeah. The personalities are very difficult to find a, a replacement, but you yeah. know, not impossible because you've done it and, and here we are still going. Yeah, so, you know, quite she's amazing. A she is wonderful. Yeah, that personality it just melted right in, you know, and and we're yeah. all three of us crazy, so it worked it out. All just the fun. difference. It does. Now, even more significant talking to you is the fact that this year is fifty years of Philadelphia. Gamble and Hub. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's their their fiftieth anniversary. Yes. And it's fallen in lockdown. So we have to do something later on. We have to do a celebration later on. I'm sorry. Of some kind. Of we of do. some kind. Because yeah. PIR was too big to just go and say, yeah, it's 50 years this year. No, nah, don't worry about it. No. Nah. I, I am so, so grateful that, uh, that we are part of, of the family. Because yeah. to me, they, are, they're just, they were just perfect. It was such a perfect match. Yeah. A perfect match with the music, the, the and the lyrics. It, it just it was everything that that we as vocalists needed. I mean, it's I, as well as I say, as you can see, I'm speechless. I'm tongue tied that I'm able to speak to one of the Philadelphia Queens. Oh my on god! A very significant year, but you know, <laughs> I I spoke with Dexter Wansell and yes. Phil Hurt and yourself and Shirley Jones, and you know. It's, it's a very significant label, musically, even it to is. now, that yes. sound. And, it, you know, it's quite interesting that, well, for the musical geeks out there, the, <laughs> the, the join between Sal Sol and Philadelphia label. Mm. Mm. And, you know, I didn't really know this until quite recently, but I always thought, I love the Sal Sol sound. Yeah, it's got a great sound, but it's it's kind of like Philly, but not quite. And then <laughs> kind of like Philly, but not you quite. Know. Yeah, but there's something there that I love, but there's something that's not quite Philly. And then Phil Hurt kindly explained the connection, yeah. you know. So mm -hmm. it it was really lovely to speak to him, and it's lovely to speak to you. So hey. what's happening from here on? Have we got any tours? planned for when well now we, is we over with, or is everything on pause until we get some more definite news well we are on pause because yeah. the entire year had already been booked um yeah. and you know they, they said okay we'll cancel this and, and set it to next year well we're in next year and we're still trying to figure out whether or not when we are going to be able next year is going to happen or disappear like yeah. last year <laughs> so we're taking i'm taking we're taking advantage of the time to um look at the show and 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 see you know what we want to do with it uh to it you know and and if yeah. you want to add something or take out something and replace it with something else and Constantly look now that you have the opportunity, you can look for costumes without you know being crazy. Yeah, uh, it gives you time to be selective and say, okay, well, I don't want that, I don't want like that, so let's go find something else. So it's like it's giving us a chance to regroup. Yeah, with, without without having to do it in a hurry. Absolutely. So we're taking advantage of the time and and sort of exercising our creativity juices and trying to come up with something so that when we do hit the road again, we'll be able to, you know, keep moving. And I think, you know, it really is about how you look at lockdown and what's happened in lockdown. And I mean, mm -hmm. everyone's circumstances are different and <laughs> some people are losing their businesses, et cetera. But you know, know. if you are mm -hmm. in a slightly different position, you actually think, when will I have the opportunity in life again to 
sit back for a year and actually take stock and you know change things or take time to do things that I yes. wanted to do and never got around to do you know there you because go. I was on it so you know it's really how you look at it and and the yeah. situation but um yeah we look forward to seeing the three degrees back in the we US as soon as possible we cannot wait <laughs> <laughs> I know because it well, you, you're very popular over here, always have been for the last 40 years or more. So <laughs> it's more than 40 years, in fact, it's, it's from the 70s. So yeah. not that you're old enough, of course, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's um, the, the three degrees are pretty special and an iconic group. But so when is your album out, young lady? I'm... I'm... I'm not quite sure when I'm ready to, to okay. release it. Um, I put the single out there and I'm trying to get a feel for it. Yeah, right. You know? Okay, yeah, yeah. And also, also, not not being with a record company as an artist, I'm I knew before what it was that they did, <laughs> but now of course not having one, I'm having to be the one to do to do all Everything. those things that they yeah, all those yeah. things that they did. So, and with technology being what it is, and while we are trying very hard to keep up with what's going on, uh, sometimes we get a little baffled, you know? And a we little? need help. I'm telling you. <laughs> we need help. Mm. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking my time to, to find out how to, to swim in, in yeah, these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure okay. you have on a life jacket, honey. <laughs> <laughs> don't be jumping in that water without a life jacket no and, and i want to really with with um social media and everything mm -hmm. the, the music industry has changed completely completely from the old days. it's completely yes. so you know it's yeah. it's really about learning a new game it is it is it is and 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 how you're going to reach you know everyone you yes. know and Fortunately, with, with uh, technology being as it is, it, it is allowing us a lot more freedom, you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, so you, you just have to, to search, search it out and, and, and find out what to do, how to do and when to do. And it's, I yeah. found it interesting, though. It, it's been very interesting. It's been frustrating at times, but very interesting. Yeah. And I, I, you know, but, with this whole technology thing, once you're yeah. of a certain generation, you're going to struggle. All right. So, you know, it took us a while to get this meeting together. Oh, you have me, no idea. I was and struggling then, as much as you me, were. Don't and worry. Me getting, me getting the days wrong. It was like, oh God, are you serious? <laughs> when you when you text me and said, I'll be with you in an hour. So I thought, what's he talking about? In <laughs> we aren't supposed to talk until tomorrow. And I thought, oh my gosh, of course, I, I went back to the, the, the message and uh -huh. scrolled down and thought, uh -huh. OMG. <laughs> <laughs> and you actually wrote OMG <laughs> with a shock face, so don't worry. That's why I said, I hope my lashes will stay on because everything had to go on. And it, it was like, it's. I used to be able to put it on in 20 minutes because after, you know, yeah. But not having had to put it on in so long, I thought, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to look like ho ho the clown because I don't <laughs> know what it's going to look like. But I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Well, and, and you've done it. I pray that nobody calls me and say, Valerie, your lash was hanging off. I thought, okay, I hope not. <laughs> your lash is not, not falling off. I would tell you, darling. <laughs> Thank would, you. We'd stop and start again. Don't worry. <laughs> See, your eyelashes are just fine. But yeah, I mean, the record industry has changed right. completely. Record industry has changed completely. And yes. a lot of people are releasing on independent or as independents now. We have no choice. Yeah. We really, have no choice. Yeah. You know. Because it, it's like, you know, it, it's a lot easier. You don't have to fight with all, everybody. And, yeah. and you get to do what you want to do. Yeah. So, you know, as I said, a lot of good has come out of this situation. You just have yes. to, to look at it and, and, and see it and appreciate it for what it is. Go to the brighter side, you know? Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Well, your 20 minute makeup session worked perfectly. You're looking as radiant <laughs> as ever. 
lighters are still on. <laughs> they are still on. Don't worry about the, the liner hasn't the liner hasn't slipped, you know. Yeah. So it's been it it's a pleasure. An absolute pleasure. So lovely to talk to you, as I say. One of the legends, first ladies of Philadelphia International Records. A significant year of 50 years, <laughs> and you all are still going. And, and you did there. You know, inspiration, absolute inspiration to us all. So thank you for your time. My and pleasure. Appreciated. Thank you. And yeah. Look forward to seeing you in person. <laughs> in Very UK soon. As soon as possible, or as we're alive. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day, yeah? You too, darling.